Mm -hmm. Paige is like the mascot, and he tells his goofy stories about the guest <laughs> at the bed and breakfast or something, and everybody yeah, take a picture I, with the dog. Yeah. People are much more apt to like a dog page and be it silly. Yeah, like yeah, that that's a good point. They are. My mom always travels with a sock monkey. It's crazy, I know. But everywhere <laughs> she goes, she has somebody pose with her in the stupid sock monkey. So you could do that with the dog. Like, you have to pose with the dog. That's a sock monkey. It's crazy, I know. She even has a book of the adventures of the sock monkey. Well, and you know, I don't know if there's some kind of way that, that one of y'all might get an idea from this. This is kind of like what Christy said. But when we lived in Florida, there was a home that somebody stole their pink flamingo out of the yard that was down around Daytona or whatever. And, like, for a year, the lady kept getting photographs in the mail. Her pink flamingo was everywhere. <laughs> and she would get these things. She was like, oh, my God, she had no idea who had the flamingo, why they had it. There were pictures of it at, like, the Great Wall. Like, it was, like, <laughs> everywhere. It actually started with one of those yard gnomes. Do you know why? That's why Travelocity has Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, and then one day she got up and her pink flamingo was back in her front yard. It was, it was hilarious, but I mean, it really did happen. It was on the news, on the TV station, everything we lived in. So I don't know if any of y'all have any kind of thing that you could have be passed around throughout the country and see where it goes and how long it takes for it to get back to you. I don't know. I don't know what that would be. But your child? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah. Does anybody else have anything? Well, I, got, I got a business uh, doing uh, wine tours uh, in Halifax County. Oh. Expanding outside of Halifax County, too. But we're, we're the Sobo Wine Home. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was you. I mean, I'd heard of it, but I didn't realize that yeah. was you. That's good. Okay, so let's think of some ideas for him. Did everybody hear that? It's uh, Halifax and expanding outside of Halifax wine tours. Is that right? So when you say expanding outside of Halifax, you mean to other wineries outside of Halifax? We're okay. Besides four in Halifax County, we're now doing San Susi just outside, mm -hmm. and uh, Anfield, and eventually we're going to do another North Carolina loop of just North Carolina. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Who wants to go first? Well, well, Donnie, let me. I would do is make sure that you have find out how many of those wineries have. Facebook pages mm -hmm. to make sure they're on your likes column on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. um, so that so people know which wineries that you're, you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And when you do one, do you go, like if I were to do one on a Saturday, do you take me to one winery or do we go to all four here? Yeah, we go to all four wineries in Halifax. Mm -hmm. uh, unless one's closed, then I would go. And yeah. Right now, the other ones are my backup ones if one's closed. Yeah. And, and I'm assuming that you have a pretty good relationship with them because you're bringing them business. So they, they should be willing to give some kind of product or something for prizes and contests for you, for your customers. Like radio stations get, you know, coupons and that kind of thing from restaurants and other advertisers. Yeah, free bottles of wine are always a, a good motivator yeah. for, <laughs> for likes. Yeah. Um, you could obviously do coupons or, or maybe a contest for a private tour or something like that. Because do, do you do groups or do you do? Uh, it's usually yeah. Usually people sign up and then I try to get uh, anywhere from eight to fourteen people in, in one van and then we do all all four. But you know I can't go with less than six people. Type yeah. Thing. So I can get usually I'll get like two sets of two couples. So I have two different four groups mm -hmm. and I'll mm -hmm. get them together for one tour. Or sometimes, you know, if you, like, rent the whole van, then I can go and pick you up from wherever you start. But usually we start right behind uh -huh. the ponies, and everybody meets there, and then we drive up and do all four. Do a, we do a lunch from the okay. So So, okay. so I, in fact, uh, I thought it would be, like, March through the summer. You know, I, I actually started two years ago and, and, and thought October is Virginia Wine Month. And I thought that would be the, the highlight. Nobody wants to go in October. Huh. Um, <laughs> and, and in fact, uh, when you know, I had some you know wine tours through November, and then you know the Christmas season, I was like, well, you know, nobody's going to go in Christmas. And I put my paperwork away. And January first, <laughs> I got a phone call, and I had you know, I didn't think that anybody would, because I had in front of them at breakfast. Uh, I thought the wine tours would kind of uh, be about the same time as the mm -hmm. breakfast. And so I thought, oh, you know, March people are going to start doing it again. I did two tours in January, two tours in February, only one in March, and then two again in April. And huh. then my, our first year was just kind of like, people want to go all, you know. Yeah. Kind of a little warning, you can go anytime of the year. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think something that would be, for me, that would be interesting is to do so 
have been like um, the, the seasons of winemaking. Yeah. Because then you would post the seasons. Mm -hmm. Like, like, what are they doing in January? Right. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. But, um, <laughs> 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 but um, yeah. and then that way just keep it. And food and wine pairings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, do you do it? John, it's your seems a, a natural if you don't have a Twitter account to have a Twitter account. Yeah. And obviously um, sign up to do whatever that search is. Yeah. So if anyone is, puts in Halifax County or South Boston like I did for Asheville, I would think a lot of people for VR and that kind of thing. Say, yeah. Um, hey, if you don't have anything to do, come mm -hmm. check out the wine tour. And partner up like John's Bed and Breakfast. Y'all could partner up for some kind of package thing. We actually have, so I'm. Oh, okay. Up, uh, okay. We had a group of people from Boston mm -hmm. uh, found my website, and then they booked. Uh, they all stayed at, at John's B&B, &B and I just came and picked them all up there. That, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so y'all have already done that. That's good. And I don't know that much. Really, they were Googling wine in Boston, and they found my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <South Boston. laughs> that's so there. funny. <laughs> They're like, my gosh, I never knew it was that far to South Boston. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? I thought we just crossed the river. No, <laughs> <laughs> 95 South. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know that much about wine, but uh, could you do like a feature every... Do a week, week or so on on well or maybe something that's that a particular line that's peaking that year or something mm -hmm. like that. For information on the grapes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Of the wine. Or the or the, the making process. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I could see hundreds of different blogs here. Yeah. yeah. Because each of those wineries have different activities, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I visit them all. That. Yeah. You know, one of I know it. Um, Billier or what? Molliver. Molliver Vineyard, yeah. They, they do kayaking and stuff there. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, so you have lots of cross yeah. promotional opportunities. And if you're blogging, um, the opportunity to, to mm -hmm. get a couple of searches is exponential. And speaking of that, I hadn't thought about that with kayaking. Some of the outdoor groups like Upper Reach, which is a nonprofit, and they're working to promote the upper reaches of the waterways through here for kayaking and paddling. Somebody like that might be good to partner up with to promote. Um, I mean, those two things seem like they wouldn't go together necessarily, but then when you said the kayaking. Well, once again, can you do pictures there in the vineyard or, uh, mm -hmm. or in the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could have a... I've got uh, pics of in the van driving. I've got pics of people at the different uh, mm -hmm. wineries. Yeah, that would be fun. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah, and had, yeah, and give information on the winery we're going. Yeah. There's a long stretch from South Boston to the mm -hmm. first winery. That, uh, so the wineries could give you a bottle of wine, whatever. Each could give you something. And they include on Facebook mm -hmm. that he's doing that. Yeah. Starting yeah. That, or you could, that it happened. Or it's it's happened. Or and you could, you could have them have to reach out to their Facebook friends. You know how in Cash Cab they can make that one call? They could reach out to their Facebook friends and, or Twitter and be like, do you know what the answer oh, is yeah, to yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. You could have a who needs a drink the most contest. And have, somebody, <laughs> yeah. have, have people write essays about why they need a drink and then pick somebody <laughs> to win a really nice bottle of wine. Well, we've done our hour. I don't mind staying longer if any of y'all have any other things that you want to talk about, but I don't want y'all to feel like you have to stay. I would be interested in just um, some ideas for me because I do events, mm -hmm. but also I do marketing. And, um, and you know, I can do it locally or mm -hmm. I do out of state. And so, um, but it's just how I can draw more people to me and my business. Okay. So you do, you arrange events here locally but then companies and so forth outside of here hire you as a consultant or okay yeah and uh, so i do events outside of here okay and i also have done uh, marketing outside mm -hmm. of here out of state and um 
but you know, it's always that search for the next yeah. job, the next job, and so it's really of how I can reach out and bring more attention to myself. And yeah, I was going to say you have two things. Like so you have two angles. You have you want to market your services to the events, but and then you also want to market the events to the attendees yeah. once you have it. Glenn. Well, obviously the the um, the events. You could use the uh, you could use the people who have liked the events that you've done previously as a sort of starting point for for uh, customer base or whatever you want to call it for the for the future events because the events are, are the events similar. Yeah, usually. Well, um, pretty much. So. so, like, say you're doing like a country music well, festival yeah. or something, and then you have a folk life festival or something. You yeah. could you could be like, oh, if you liked this, you should check this out. Yeah. Well, and this is indirect, Donnell, but if you have a current client and you use Facebook or any of the other social media creatively to generate a buzz for that event, mm -hmm. then that also is going to promote you to your next client. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because uh, let's say that there's some event that you do something unique, and I don't know what yet, but that you do some kind of unique campaign for them and you generate a real buzz, then other events are going to are going to hear about it and then they're going to be like she's the lady that we want to so that's an indirect okay. that's way okay. and then I think the other thing that you would need to do immediately Danielle, is set up a, a business page yeah um, do you have one on Facebook no uh -uh. okay yeah. um, and I can do that that's what I'm working on right now yeah <laughs> um, but yeah so I mean to me the P, the events who might hire you, your potential clients, what they care about is what kind of results you can bring. So the best way for you to show them those results is to do it for somebody else. And then they are going to come to you because they're going to hear about you. You know, all these things that we talked about today, uh -huh. those are things that were on the news where their success picked up national and sometimes international free press for them. So the companies themselves, the advertisers, ended up getting a lot of exposure, but think about the ad companies behind it. You know, mm -hmm. think about there had to be companies out there going, I want to know who came up with this campaign and I want to hire them. So, on a kind of a smaller scale for you. Does that help any? Yes, yeah, so, so the first step would be generating the interest in the events. And when you generate the interest in the events, thanks for coming, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. And, and when you generate the, the online interest in the events, the companies are going to see that they're going to see oh this this page had a lot of likes and a lot of people showed up because of that um, we want to know who 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 handled that yeah uh -huh. so that's a good way to get exposure and the events themselves you know there there are a lot of ways that you can promote them ahead of time either people who've gone before have a, uh, encouraged them to post photographs from the times that they went previously you could have the contest for free tickets and uh -huh. you know there are a lot of different ways that you could promote that I think services versus um, like the events Yeah, but what we're thinking is your performance. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, is, is what's right. going to promote you. Okay. And we could probably come up with some other ideas. Right off the top of my head, that's what I lean to more is the indirect using the success mm -hmm. to do it. Jeff, do you have any ideas? Because well, you're good at stuff like that. If any of them are public events, not like not like you're doing a corporate retreat or something like yeah. that, but if you're doing, you know, like the Halifax County Fair, you know, setting up an, an event calendar and making sure that you invite everybody to that event mm -hmm. and then encourage them to invite people as yeah. well so that you're exponentially spreading the word, um, then you get all... Do you have any ideas for how she might be able to before the events pick up clients who want her to promote these events. Do you have any ideas off the top of your head for that? Um, you could set up some sort of search for people that are um, Googling weddings, mm -hmm. like wedding plans, to do ads for people that are looking at wedding sites. Yeah, or like on Twitter and that kind of thing, set up a search so that you'll be alerted whenever somebody because people will get on there and ask hey have you uh, who has had a music festival whatever who's good to manage that kind of thing mm -hmm. figure out the keywords that people might be searching for and then you can 
answer them. Lisa, you might know this. Can you search based on people that have switched from like single to engaged? Because your Facebook 